What do you want from me? Don't be afraid. I just want to talk to you. About what? Your ex, Nathan? Why I stole him from you on your freaking wedding night? Ugh, guess what? He was sick of you. He hated you. So sad. Ugh, you want to change that, huh? Never. In fact, I want to thank you for that. You... If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have married such an amazing man. Do you want to know who he is? You? Married? No way. Who would marry you? Ah, <sighs> forget who. First, ask when. Yes, I haven't even started with the best part. You know I got married the day you and Nathan were supposed to get married? Ugh, shut up, you liar. Tell these lies to somebody else. I can see right through you, Emma. I know you're just trying to put me down. Ah, uh, you're totally failing at it. I am not you to be so desperate. You're already down and out. I have no need to do anything. So who's your mysterious husband then? Come on, where is he? Prove it, you liar. Ah, uh, look who's talking. Why don't you tell me? Who do you think my husband is? Amber's confidence wavered for a moment. She tried to recall any hints, any public appearances with Emma and a man. Then, as the door opened, her eyes widened in disbelief. Amber tried to recall any constant link-ups of Emma with a man off late. There was only one name which came to her mind. It was the same man who appreciated her effort at the Crown Stars show. Who is it? It surely can't be. Eric walked into the room with a piercing gaze at Amber. Amber felt her eyes go wide in shock and her face go pale. It was like seeing a ghost. Without saying a single word, Eric turned his gaze towards Emma. And from the cold look, his expression turned to one of warmth and love. He kissed Emma on the lips and sat down next to her. How is this? How? No, this can't be true. You are married to Eric Roberts. You must be having a lot of questions, right? Mr. Roberts, do, do you know who I am? I really wish I did not. Did you really think that I was trying to win over Nathan when I was at Global? When I was already with Eric? Did you really see me try to take him away from you? You were so hell-bent on hurting me that you never saw the truth, the big picture. What a pity. Amber stayed shut and dug her nails into her own skin. She looked at Emma with a numb, horrified look. She thought that by taking Nathan away from Emma, she would be left helpless. But she had got a much more powerful and well-established man for herself. Amber wanted to claw her own hair out at the moment, but she just kept silent. Eric put one of his hands behind Emma's chair, which showed his undying support for her. I was the number one model before I was disillusioned with Nathan and betrayed by you. I have stayed at Global to reclaim my position, and I always knew I would get there no matter what you tried to do. Lisa, who was standing on the other end of the room, smiled at seeing Amber being put in her place. If it was anybody else, she would have felt a little bad, but she knew Amber's past actions and depths to which she had fallen. And this was truly well-deserved for someone like her. She felt that Emma was still being nice to Amber. Because you helped me meet my soulmate, I want to give you a piece of advice. Never get back to modeling. There are so many people you've wronged in the industry, there's no escape. Your karma's gonna hit you really hard. Eric took Emma's hand and the power couple stood up from their seats. They left the room and Amber could not help but notice that they carried an enigmatic aura with them. Lisa waited for them to leave and then came close to Amber. Amber, since you did help Emma in a way, I would like to give you some guidance too. You should go into hiding for some time. After you canceled your contract with Creative Century, their men are out looking for you. And God knows what they would do to you once they find you. With no Nathan or Gary to help you now, you have to look out for yourself. Amber, who had clawed at her own skin all this time, realized what she was doing. She had begun to bleed due to her own actions. Embarrassed, shamed, and humiliated, she quickly picked up her belongings and left the room. But Lisa's words proved to be more true than Amber had anticipated. Five bulky men were waiting for her outside. Amber Lee, come with us. Who? What? <laughs> you must be mistaken. That's not my name. We know. You are the one who violated the contract with Creative Century. Please, come with us. That was the last time anyone would hear the name Amber Lee. A few miles away, Eric, Emma, Lisa, and Luke were headed back to Tribeca in their car. Emma nestled her head on Eric's shoulders. She was lost in thought. Lisa interrupted her daydreaming when she spoke up. What do you think is going to happen to Amber? The owners of Creative Century have affiliation with the mob. 
If she doesn't manage to pay up for the damages, they will find other ways to get their money. I don't know. Maybe they could force her to be an escort. Really? Oh. By the way, I also discovered something else. Amber Lee is not her real name. What? What is it then? It is Hattie Sue. She changed her name to appeal more to the entertainment industry and the public. Which did not work out for her. Eric smiled at the banter between Lisa and Luke. Emma saw him flash his rare smile and nestled further in his embrace. Eric, we have been married for quite some time now. Maybe I should meet your family. I would like to hear all about you from them. At the time of our marriage, we had agreed to a six-month clause in our contract. Now that clause is not necessary. So yes, you will meet my family. But don't worry about that now. We will get to it in good time. Okay. What about your family? I'd like to see baby pictures of the woman I'm in love with as well. Before that, you must know that my family has no appreciation for the entertainment industry. Plus, I had abandoned them and hurt them when I had impulsively left to be with Nathan. I was such a fool. Do not worry about that, Emma. People make mistakes and grow from them. When they see you now, they will be proud. Thank you, Lisa. And besides, we are a family, right here. We will always be family. Emma sighed softly at Eric's words. She felt that now she had hammered in the last nail in Amber and Nathan's coffins. It was time for her to march and reclaim her spot at the top. After the release of the news that Emma had terminated her contract with Global, many rumors spread about her connections to other agencies. But Emma paid no heed to them. She was concentrating on herself and preparing herself for H-World. Meanwhile, her TTQ magazine cover shoot had been released, and it was an instant hit. TTQ magazine sales went up statistically due to this particular edition, so much that it was brought to the attention of Charlotte Garcia, the CEO of H-World Entertainment. You wanted me for something? Have you seen the TTQ magazine cover? Yes, what about it? Lucas, you are my most trusted assistant, and that's why I want to give this responsibility to you. I want you to get this model for us at H-World, Emma Miller. Hmm, surely she is very skilled as we can see, but I am a little concerned about her age. She is already 26. How will she compete with the other models? Let us not forget that Emma has had a lot of hardships and obstacles on her way to the top, and she has managed to withstand them and come out strong. With the right guidance and platform, she will be a sensation. And we at H-World can provide that for her. Okay, but how do you want me to manage her? I already have a lot of other models who I am handling. I would not have asked you if I didn't think you could handle it. You do not want to lose out to Ariadne Sanders, do you? Right. I will do it then. I look forward to hearing that you have signed her. Lucas left the office with the magazine in his hand. Just before entering his cubicle, he ran into Ariadne Sanders. Ariadne noticed the magazine in his hand. Are you trying to get Emma under your management? Perhaps. You can't do that, Lucas. She's competing with one of my models. But it's a direct order from Charlotte. I lost my pregnancy because of you, Lucas. Can't you do this much for me? Please do not sign Emma Miller. Lucas looked at Ariadne and did not know what to do. He was at a crossroad. Will Lucas stop Emma from joining H-World? How will Ariadne play a part? Will she prove to be a new threat to Emma? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.